Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's Baggins here, and today we are back with a brand new build that you can combo with the Life Staff. Now, a bunch of you guys have probably seen the Rapier Life Staff. It's pretty popular in PvP. A lot of healers tend to run it, and especially with Light Armor. You're highly mobile. It's very difficult to lock down the healer, and it allows you to just dump a ton of points into focus. Very little into Constitution, but the idea is that you're not even going to be taking damage in the first place because you've got all of these uh, sort of evasive maneuvers that you can pull off, like uh, dashing through, hitting people with a stun, with the repost and then dashing again. Now the problem with this build is it's going to be nerfed in an upcoming patch on the February PTR right now. All of the cooldowns that we currently have right now are getting increased. So evade is going from 6 seconds up to 12 seconds and then I think it's a sort of similar treatment with uh, flesh and repost as well. So cooldowns being significantly increased on all of these abilities which is going to mean there's a lot more opportunity to lock down and kill said healer running a rapier. So I've been racking my brain to come up with a build that we could use potentially if this uh, Rapier Life Staff is now uh, no good anymore. What could we use in its place? And I've landed on the Sword and Shield with the Life Staff. Um, the three abilities that sort of mimic closely enough with uh, Repost, Flesh, and Evade are Shield Rush, so that gives us a little bit of movement. Then we've got the Leaping Strike like so, and the shield bash takes in place of the repose to uh, knock off the great axe and, you know, the melee that is stuck to us there. In terms of stats, it does run in a similar sort of vein to the rapier life staff where you just dump a lot of points into focus so you can do some massive heals. Just a, you know, a small amount into constitution. Mainly this is coming from my armor. In fact, it's almost entirely coming from my armor. And then a quick look at the masteries in case you're interested. Um, this is a build that is a work in progress, but this is what we've been rocking on the sword and shield tree. And then this here is what we have on the Life Staff. We don't actually take Divine Blessing because we're getting so many healing boosts from Bend Light, Protector's Strength, Intensify, so on and so forth. And then a quick look at the gear uh, before we actually play you guys some gameplay. That's what's going to be the second part of this video. We've, we're looking to get a lot of refreshing and uh, refreshing evasion on our gear. A little bit resilient as well as this is a PvP build. Physical aversion going to help us against those um, bows and muskets which are a big threat when you're wearing light armor because you can keep your distance from the melee players, but you can't really stop, uh, you know, the muskets hitting you and the bow and arrow. Uh, this shield is pretty bad. <laughs> Look is a completely dead stat in PvP. I think one thing that I'll try to do in the future is get shield bash on the shield. Uh, the jewelry is like the same jewelry that I use in pretty much every build because it's just, I think it's really, really good. Um, stamina recovery can come in pretty clutch sometimes, and thrust protection, again, helps against the bow and arrow and the muskets. We've got the same juicy ring, sacred, hearty, leeching that we use in a lot of builds, and this insane earring as well. The sword that I'm currently using is Coral Lash, I think, again, there are probably better swords you could find. Uh, the whole idea, like with the Rapier Life Staff, is you're not using it to kill the enemy, it's just to stay alive, to uh, sort of dash around, be annoying, stun them, and then dash again, and run off into the distance while you do some massive, massive healing. So yeah, I'm gonna play you guys some gameplay of the build in action so you can see what it looks like. If you guys do enjoy these sort of videos, make sure you go ahead and click the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so how far does, uh, is this actually gonna feel anything like, uh, Flesh. I mean, there's a decent amount of movement. It's not insane, but there's, there is some movement there. All right, let's go for this guy. And then we shield bash. We missed the shield bash. Oh, he's hatchet. Oh, but hatchet would... They, they fixed the hatchet, though, didn't they? Yeah, they fixed the hatchet in a patch uh, yesterday. Shield bash. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, Scream's still going to be pretty bad if we get hit with a Scream. We're still not going to be able to leap, but I can block. <laughs> uh, thank... That's better than earlier. Was running around and getting kicked out. Yeah, me too. I was getting constantly kicked uh, all, all the time. I don't know what was going on. Um, I just kept getting kicked over and over and over again, and then suddenly it stopped. So, uh, I think the hatch... The servers are still bad, but you just have to, like, get lucky or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mm, you can shield block the scream. Pretty huge brain prediction. Ooh. Can you block? Is it only with shield that you can block scream? Um, by the way, I could make my character. I can like really uh, deceive the enemy here, right? If I change skin and I make this look like a tower shield. Oh, dude, they're going to be like, oh, look at this guy. He's the tank. He's a paladin. He's got a big shield and a sword. And then I'm like, lol. Oh, <laughs> look at me dodge rolling. <laughs> I'm not a paladin at all. And they'll be... They'll be so bamboozled, chat, by that. The ultimate bamboozle. Yeah, the, the, the fortifying shield rush doesn't really send you that far, though. 
Uh, I do. I don't even know what I have in my sword. This is all scuffed right now. Um, I just wanted to try it out. I've got, I've got an, uh, what is that? I've got a topaz in my sword, I think. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, um, <laughs> I just jumped into this game. But if, if the build feels like it works kind of okay, we'll go get the gems and we'll, we'll perfect it for the next game. All right, here we go, chat. Sure! Damn. Oh, he saw me dodge rolling, dude. He saw me dodge rolling. He knows. You give the game away as soon as you dodge roll. That's the problem. Alright. It's pretty hard to hit uh, shield rush, it feels like. Let's see. We need to go back to mid instead of just fighting over here. Shield bash. Nice. Alright, I'm going to go back to mid. Help out in mid. Looks like amber from my phone screen. It does kind of look like an amber gem, doesn't it? It's got the same sort of color. Uh, this guy's got sword and shield uh, with a heavy staff. Oh, here we go. Boom! We got one. Oh, we're getting two. Oh! <laughs> hmm. All right. It's so weird that the with the shield skins, you can make a, a round shield look like a tower shield. I feel like that's a little bit, uh, I don't know, from a PvP standpoint, it's a bit cheeky, maybe? It feels a little bit wrong. Do you think Lost Ark will break the record of 900,000 uh, active players that New World has? Uh, probably, because it's free to play. The th that's the thing that you gotta compare. New World hit 900,000 concurrent, and you had to buy the game. Like, Lost Ark is, is buy to play, and it got 500,000, so... Uh, you know, New World's, like... Putting in the numbers. Obviously... Lost Ark has already been out for a while, so it's not a like completely fair comparison. Um, because if New World had already been out in like other regions, then it it wouldn't have as many people, you know, checking it out for the first time. But hmm, I think New World needs to go free to play. There's a chance that that will happen in the future. Uh, but they need to fix a lot of issues with New World before it goes free to play. Because going free to play will introduce the game to a whole new wave of players. But then all those players would quit again for the same reason previous players quit. So we've got to look at the reasons. Why was there 900,000 concurrent players and now there's only 40,000 or whatever? What happened there? And how do we stop that from happening again? And until you've made that fix or that change that would stop that from happening again, there's no point going free to play because you'll just lose all of the players again. And then that, that'll be it. Then, then you don't have any other choices. Unless you bring the game to console. Which I can see could happen with New World. Like, not right now. In the distant future, New World could be a MMO on console, I think. Um, I think I think the gameplay, the abilities and stuff, makes it console-friendly enough. So the whole idea with this build is we're still trying to be a healer. We're basically trying to imitate what um, Rapier would give us with the movement. And we, we do actually have quite a lot of movement. It's got to be said. All right, let's just shield bash this guy. Oh no, dude. Got him. Yeah, the shield bash kind of works in the same way the uh, riposte does. Except you just you just slap him with your shield. And then instead of evade, we've got shield rush. And then instead of the uh, the flesh, the, the, the twirly dash, we've got leaping strike. So it's a similar sort of concept, honestly. It's not a million miles away from what... Uh, Rapier uh, life staff gives us. Did servers merge yet? Uh, it's happening uh, two hours from now, I think. Two hours from now until the server merges. Oh, I couldn't keep that guy alive. All right. It's good news though. They're fighting off the point. Although actually, it's not. We we should really be fighting on the point. I don't know. Well. Nah, I think it's okay, actually. If they fight here, there's no way they cap the point, so... Unless they wipe all of us. Which could happen. Why don't we get any merch? Uh, they don't love us, basically. Do, do, do. This is the fastest way to kill the game. With a lot of players, you have a ton of issues. Servers overloading, no resources, and... Um, yeah, no, I think right now, as much as it sucks... Um... 
Oh my goodness. Wow. What a gamer, dude. He landed every shot. I did not respect him there, and he destroyed me. Well played. He landed every single bow shot there. One of the things that I think we were talking about this yesterday, New World needs like PvP and PvE abilities. Because I think the Rapier and PvE is like okay. Maybe not even really that good. I don't I don't know. It's pretty good. Um, the cooldown reset's pretty juicy, but I think it's like in PvP is like really where the Rapier was shining in, in comparison to the two. Alright, let's bash this guy. Damn, dude! The clutch, the clutch uh, dodges from that guy. Didn't even realize he was about to get hacker rude. That's you. All right, now we gotta kill these other two guys. Man, I am squishy though. I am very squishy. What's it doing at HP? Okay, it's still pretty full actually. Uh, let's try and get in them with a stun if we can. Never mind, we're just gonna heal. Oh, leaping strike! Okay, it worked. It actually worked, chat. You you got you gotta credit where credit's due. The leaping strike actually got me out of danger there. Askra, good to see you. Sorry, chat. It's a bit of an intense gaming moment right now. The streamer will be temporarily not reading messages whilst he tries to attempt to pull off some insane gaming moves. Leaping strike. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there, but I'm out. Let's throw in some big heals. I'm clicking left mouse button to lower my cooldowns. Okay, they're coming in. Can I get out? I'm out. I think they've got this one though, chat. They're just bullying us out of the uh, Baron there. Okay, Baron, they're not actually doing any damage to it though. So this kind of works for us, because the longer they just like try and kill us here, the less time they spend trying to... Uh, like, we have control of two points right now, so if we just drag this out, we'll get more and more score. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage though. Getting, getting kind of low. We're going to go in for it. Get ready for the steal. Lining up for the steal. Yes! <laughs> Get wrecked, nerds. There it is, dude. <laughs> I'm liking this build, man. It feels fun. I got a lot of movement. I got some CC. We got the, the, the benefit of the light armor. Hmm. <laughs> Like, it's going pretty good. That man, Crixen, you are ballsy, dude. Just mining some freaking ore while they uh, while they push up like that. All right, I need to eat some more battle bread. We're pumping out some pretty good heals because we got uh, 343 focus. I need to uh, eat some con food, actually. It's, uh, I'm very shy of 100 con, so... Oh, my God, the whole team's here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, getting, getting the con food to get to 100 con would probably help quite a bit. Um, if I eat con food, is it, does it replace my battle bread, though? Let's see. Oh, it does. Uh, but that extra con, though, is pretty juicy. Oh, didn't want to do that. If you eat battle bread again, you'll be good. Really? Is that how it works? 131 constitution. Eat the battle bread. Oh yeah, nice. Pro tip, man. Thank you, Curly Willy. It's weird that it goes one way, but it doesn't go the other. But that is very classic New World. Okay. Oh no, it's... 1v3? Okay, here we go, chat. Nah, I don't think this is gonna work, actually. Yeah, this is... this is... Okay. Come on, Baggins! You got this. You just need to wait for cooldowns just for a little bit. No! Oh! Come on! 
Yup! Yup! Whoa! Yo-ho-ho-ho! I am Baggins! <laughs> Let's go, Gavis! <laughs> Who wants some? <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Yay! I don't know about you, chat, but I'm having lots of fun right now. Uh, I think I think this is it, though, right? This is it. Shield. Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> Come on, potions, 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 potions. They are so angry. <laughs> oh, they're angry, dude. And then the shield. All right. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Leaping strike. Go, 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 go. And then we go again. Over protection. Get back in. <laughs> Healer is broken in this game. Uh, no. Not anymore. It depends who you're playing against and it depends how well you play it. Uh, you're watching somebody who's played thousands of hours of life staff, so... Um, and, and then it also depends on the quality of your opponent that you play against as well. And this is meaning no disrespect to the, these guys, but... <clears throat> I mean, I'm not killing anybody, am I? Like, what am I doing right now? I'm just kind of wasting time. Um, I really want to cap the point, though, but I don't know how I can do it. Like, I don't... I actually can't kill any of them. Like, I think if I tried, it would just, like, go very poorly, so... Because as soon as I get them low, they just pop a potion as well, so... It's like, if you looked at this, uh, like, build on, like, a graph of, like, what it's trying to achieve, it's, like, all mobility and healing. Uh, but there's, like, no offense in this build whatsoever. The question is, is this better than, like, uh, Rapier? Like, is this better than Lifestaff Rapier? It feels pretty insane. I mean, I'm wasting three people's time. These three people could be fighting for the mid, so that's kind of fun. All right, anyway. We can't actually cap the points, so we'll go back and actually help in a team fight. Uh, I don't get this uh, PvP in this game. Three guys can't kill a guy who isn't even fighting back. So there's, like, different builds you can take. And honestly, if they just timed the CC and, like, heavy attacks at the right time, they would kill me. Because I'm in light armor. Um, so, again, you're, like, assuming that that is, like, representative of all PvP in the game. But you're, you're watching, like... I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Like, I, I don't want to be mean, and I don't want to, like, uh, toot my own horn too much. But, you know, you're, you're watching, like, a... If you were to watch, a, like, a pro wrestler take on, you know, some some people who were amateurs, then you would be like, man, this looks, like, completely unbalanced. This this uh, this fight, this spectacle that I'm watching just seems unfair. But it, it's because, you know, the category on which you're watching it. Uh, Alright, let's Leaping Strike into the fray, dude. Leaping Strike's gonna get even better in the next patch, so Rapier's gonna get worse, and Sword and Shield is gonna get better, so this might be the build that I'm going for, chat. Alright, I think we get in there now. Now we go aggressive, chat. No, I got screamed. Alright, gotta wait until the cooldowns come back up. Try and keep people alive. That's uh, one of the things I like about the build. You can suddenly just like go aggressive, like leaping strike in, hit him with a shield dash, and then dash back out again with the with the fortifying shield rush. Just pad my heal numbers on this uh, AFK guy for a little bit. GGs, there it is, everybody. Look at that. Pretty good, pretty good going. That was a lot of fun. Let's uh, take a look at our score. First place. Man, we can I don't know. This guy must have been really spamming some heals, but 764,000 healing. While well, we still got four kills, we only died one time. We got 10 assists. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. That was good fun. Let's uh, let's take this build uh, to the drawing board and try and improve it a little bit more if we can, shall we? Yeah, Void Gauntlet's also getting nerfed. Void Gauntlet is getting a nerf and Rapey is getting a nerf. So it's like we need to look for it. Like maybe another secondary to take with the uh, Life Staff. And Sword and Shield. I mean, it could have been it.